Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Vic. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes I of I can't those believe I still have this pencil case. She I should upgrade to the 21st right? century. But frankly, I like it old school. <laughs> I do love my analog <laughs> camera. Seriously, I should take a quick picture now. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The My first little camera American bag is battered, but still kicking. was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him and- Look at this crack. Book. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor! Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, you see. Of course. Victoria has to have the best... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Everybody in class is 
Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I just really think everyday heroes is an important Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. I also want everybody to know that this photograph of world is not for everybody. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I have my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should oh, have that totally. Shit. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome always to the real cute. world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera.
Except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I did now, it. Can you I give actually me an did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. There you Wowzer, go, my old broken camera is new again. Keep it together, Max. Of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If, you saw is tortured, if right? he does again, I'll know this is for real. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class.
Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary I need to rewind or stop. Victoria, the Daguerrean process. Bro, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if I see you, Max Caulfield, don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever tell me what to do. Wow, well, sir, so it's 
sick! I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls yeah. for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Oh, dude. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Dude. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay. 
Awesome. Dude. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Nice, bro. Sweet. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Need to figure this out. No. Okay, let's see if this works. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. No. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long.
Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've here. locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that, but why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I 
but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> Welcome to Black Hill. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. No need to go there now. Ugh. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. At least that's an alarm from this century. Oh man, this is so wrong. I better find proof fast.
Max, take that paper from the printer and get the hell out of here for good. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could...
Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Come on over here, please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw.